How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be talking about, I'm just going to be talking. I'm not going to be going into any movies today. Uh, I might give a few examples, but this isn't a movie review. This is a genre review if you want to think about it like that. Um, but no, I'm not going to uh, go too much into specific movies. I'm just going to be talking about genre that I don't like. And if you've seen the past video that I uploaded on like movies and stuff like that, You'll see that I was talking about La La Land. And not to discredit the movie by any means, it was a great movie. Just the idea that it was a musical bumped it down for me. And why do I dislike musicals? And that's something that I want to talk about today. Uh, first of all, don't come at me. Uh, second of all, subscribe to the channel. And third of all, let's get into it. So, I don't like musicals for the very simple reason that I hate those breaks that they have. It can be in the most vital moment of a movie and then they'll just all of a sudden just start to hit the boogie and start to dance. Charlie D'Amelio style and then like start jumping on cars, something that's super like irregular. They'll just say, oh yeah, my life is shit. Like yeah, I swear like they could make a musical about anything. It just finds me in a very difficult place. Uh, obviously that's not every musical uh, and I, I don't remember where I saw that specific case take place. I don't know where I saw that specific case take, take place, but I do know that it is a very real thing that happens in those types of musicals. And like I said, they go and they do this unrealistic shit or in High School Musical, for example, the entire school just starts dancing about summers out, like school's out and so now we're just gonna be singing and dancing in the hallways and being all coordinated in my experience when summer hits and when that bell rings everyone just runs grabs their stuff and just gets the fuck out of school nobody and i mean this nobody is there to be just singing and dancing and wanting to prolong their exposure to a high school. The issues that I have with it are also the unrealistic elements of it. For example, I just recently covered La La Land, which like I said, good movie. But the idea that instead of Emma, Emma Stone having, like she takes off her heels and instead of having normal shoes like anyone would have, she has tap shoes. Someone that doesn't even like movies too much. No, someone that doesn't even like music too much, like jazz music or anything like that, has tap shoes in her purse. Okay, that is a really, I know that that's a really relevant thing because a lot of people just like the way that these movies are set up. But I don't like how you take a break from the movie just so that they can sing. And then the movie is basically in the same exact place that they were before. It might have given the character a bit of clarity. A, a movie that I really like, the musical element, in, and it's just one part of the, well, two parts of the, of, of the musical are in Les Miserables. Uh, and uh, obviously, if you've seen the movie, you, you know how all of this goes. But the part where Anne Hathaway does her one scene where she's singing, and I think that she won an Academy Award for it. Uh, I might be wrong, so don't like fact check me on that one. The one where she sings, and it's a very grounded song, and it's a very sad song, and it like it really hits you in the field. That's the type of songs that I feel are good with these types of musical elements. Like I said, there are two parts, and then the the final, the finale, where um, Hugh Jackman's character goes and sees like the whole protest of the French Revolution because that's that's when the whole or I think yeah I think it was the French Revolution where just everyone is standing there and they're singing the song that they sang at the revolution is a really cool part of the movie and it's one that I really did find interesting in those certain aspects but that's like a war movie where a girl is singing about the way that she feels and then the other one they are like singing a march like the beginning of la la land they just they're in traffic and they just all get up and start singing and dancing on their cars and start jumping and start doing and then they start if i were to see that and i were to be driving and people just 
I think it's mass hysteria. I'm not even going to lie. I, if I were to see that, I would not join in. I'd probably call an ambulance or something because a lot of people hit their heads at the same exact time and they need to be admitted. Okay? And that is just where my mind goes. I don't know if you guys agree. And if you guys don't agree, well, then just write it down in the comments. Like, say, like, hey, musicals are my favorite genre. You are a terrible human being for coming at musicals, which I'm not coming at musicals. I'm just saying my opinion about them. For me personally, I've never seen a musical that I liked. A genuine movie that I found to be, like I said, Les Miserables is a good movie, but it does have that musical element that bumps it down for me. There are certain movies that I really liked and then just them being a musical or them having that to put that song in. For example, Riverdale. It was a show that I really liked the first season. The first season. Don't, don't, don't even tie me to the rest of the show. The first season was amazing. I really liked it, which is why I watched the second season. But then the second season, it was a pretty good season. I'm not going to even say that it wasn't. But it had that one musical episode, the Carrie episode. Which at the end, it does have a big reveal and stuff like that. But why do you have to add a musical? And it's the same thing with the third one. Uh, the, the Flash had a musical episode. I respect Arrow because they didn't have a musical episode. Although I really did like that song that uh, Grant Gustin sang at the very end of the, of the episode. It was a really heartfelt song. It was a really good song. But just the episode itself where it's just Supergirl and The Flash singing... I didn't find to be enjoyable. I don't find musicals to be enjoyable whatsoever. And as someone that loves the music industry and loves music, and I just love everything that has to do there, I don't like it when they combine. I don't know. I'm not a very combiny person. I'm a very uh, stay on your side, stay on your side, and then let's just enjoy both of them. That's the way that I feel. And some of you may feel similar. And if you do, hit the like button. And hit the subscribe button. Each and every subscriber helps this channel grow. And I just want to help reach more of you. That way I can not, not indoctrinate any of you. But share my opinions. Because we all have opinions. And we all have conferring opinions. And we all have different opinions. And like this one. I'm pretty sure it's a different opinion to 99% of the population. But I know that you guys like hearing about it. Because maybe you might say musicals are the best genre. But then be like hey. He's actually right. You know, musicals do get a bit repetitive and musicals do have that less heart uh, element to them. And so I just encourage discussion down in the comments below. And I hope that each and every one of you enjoyed this video because I know that I enjoyed recording it. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.